Warrant Officer Ferreira from Nokenpok ECPS. I'm the communication officer and at this moment I'm in Nokenpok at a murder scene. We received the murder uh, uh, on the 10 triple one radio and when we, when we attended here, we found one body that was shot dead and then we arrested the suspect. The suspect um, tried to commit suicide by drinking sleeping tablets, so he's detained at the Tenbiza Hospital for now. Um, we also recovered an unlicensed firearm. The suspect will be charged with murder and um, also unlicensed firearm. Goeiemorgen mense, welcome back to Gossip Cafe. My name is Kay. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Twitter went frenzy yesterday after the news of a 70 land actor, 50 year old 70 land actor, who is believed to have shot and killed his 29 year old boyfriend at their rental cottage. So to find out more on this story, please, let's get into this video. Welcome to Gossip Cafe. So guys, the cat is all out. The person who we were trying to figure out who killed his 29 year old boyfriend is Greg Pettigrew. Pettigrew is a former Seven Dylan actor and we were trying to really figure out who is this person they said on the news. It is a 50 year old actor from Seven Dylan and whereby it is a 51 year old former actor on Seven Dylan and he is doing other shows. So here's the story. Apparently he shot and killed his 29 year old boyfriend at their rented at their rented cottage in Kempton Park if I'm not mistaken honey please don't quote me on that because in South Africa there's too many stories all the time so you have to read 510 sources before you get the real one or before you voting that this is the real one so um and also when the police arrived there because obviously the landlord called the police and the police arrived and they found a guy who is believed to be 29 years old deceased already on their bed and um next to him it was all greg Perigrew with a gun still in his hand yeah the gun still in his hand yes Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, he was still alive after he took a handful of sleeping pills to actually unalive himself as well. But unfortunately, at this point of time, he is under a heavy police guard at a, at a hospital so that they can drain all those pills, honey, in order for you to face the music in court. So yeah. Isn't Ozinzima like gender-based violence and also what do you call um, lovers violence because um, pff, is it gender-based violence between two men it, 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 does it does it do we call it the same thing I don't know I really don't know yes I know I'm gay and stuff like that but I know it is um, abuse it is murder it is um, all of those things because obviously it didn't it did not start here i don't think it said here i don't think he just said okay i just want to shoot this guy right now and kill myself as well because i've got problems or whatever i think all this toxic relationships they have a history like you've got couple of days or couple of weeks couple of months of this weird stuff that are happening or maybe the boyfriend wanted to leave this relationship or maybe this this um greg was just obsessed and had mental issues we never know we will never know because they're both they bo the other one is dead and the other one is alive so um that means we're only gonna have only one story within this whole thing so anyway guys thank you so much for watching till this far um, please take care of yourself. If you see that there are red flags in this relationship, please seek help. Please flee, run, because sometimes you might run and these people will still find you. Try to figure out what you need to do, but you need to make sure that you check those red flags because things are happening in South Africa and our justice system is just 
pathetic. Yes, I said it. It is pathetic. So anyway, Greg will be obviously going to court on a Monday for his first appearance and I hope they throw him into jail and he will become that drug queen in jail. I mean, he will entertain Abu Tabo Baxter in jail. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching till this far. Have a fantastic one. I'll see you on my next upload. Mm -hmm.